Hey there, welcome to uh, week 26 of Draw Something. My name is Andy, and I'll be uh, doing live drawing by request tonight. Uh, so for the last couple weeks, uh, this is my 26th week of doing this show. Um, I've had a theme. Uh, hi there, um, Haas00312. Um, thanks for following. Um, as I was saying, um, I... Uh, I've had a theme in the last couple weeks I've been doing this show. Um, I'm going to change it up tonight, though, because tonight's theme is a free-for-all. So this is going to just be an anything-goes, no theme to stick to, just whatever crazy thing you want me to draw, I will draw it. I got a couple of uh, crazy requests for myself that I'm going to go ahead and start off with. So let me get this started. That started. Words. Words can be hard sometimes. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with, uh, just uh, not a half hour, not even a half hour before I uh, got on camera, I uh, was doing the dishes for dinner, and that kind of gave me an idea for a drawing. So I'm going to draw me doing the dishes, but then the dishes, the clean dishes are going to end up walking off the pile, the clean dishes pile, and dumping themselves in a big pile of garbage and getting all dirty again and then walking back up and putting themselves in the dirty pile so it's just a never-ending cycle so let me go ahead and start on this here so i started drawing i'm gonna draw the rest of me but so far i got my head right now i'm drawing the sink Uh, so I'm just kind of doing it how I picture, how I had it pictured in my head. Um, so I'm just going to do just plates. Uh, normally I put plates in the dishwasher, but I feel like th how I pictured it was just a bunch of plates being hand washed. So I'm just going to go ahead with, with that. Go ahead and draw a sponge in my hand here. Dun, 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 dun. All right. All right, so I got the basic. Uh... All right, so I got myself, I got the sink. Well, I got me as an outline. All right, let me uh, go ahead and... Uh, finish drawing the sink and then I'll go ahead and uh, have the clean dishes pile right over here just draw a number of dishes I'm going to draw one dish jumping off the pile and onto the floor. Let me go ahead and change that there. I'm going to go ahead and start tracing over this so it becomes a little more defined and easy to see.
so yeah, I was, uh, tonight for dinner I had, uh, what I usually have, um, my, uh, usual cooking schedule is what I do is I eat my left, I make food, I'm just, I live, I live alone, so what I do is I cook enough food for three or four people, and then I have what I, you know, I have my dinner, and then I basically store the rest of it and bring it to work for lunch over the, over the course of the week. And on nights where I don't, you know, cook an actual legitimate meal to uh, bring for leftovers, I usually have scrambled eggs. Usually like to put a uh, mixed cheese in with them. It's pretty good. So that's what I just did uh, earlier. I definitely uh, have to keep restocking my eggs because I use them a lot. Whether I'm scrambling them or just using them in recipes because a lot of recipes I make have eggs. Alright, so yeah. Dr tracing over the, uh, the suds here. I'm scrubbing that plate. Go ahead and uh, also I have uh, water here. And have some suds in the water. So I'm scrubbing the plate. Uh, meanwhile, this plate's uh, jumping off, and it's gonna. Let me go ahead and draw the uh, alternate pile here, the dirty dishes pile. some uh, what I like to call majesty lines here to <laughs> show how clean and sparkly they are. Also add some sparkles to make that fact even more clear. Trace over this uh, runaway dish that's uh, getting up to something, up to no good. Let me go ahead and give him a little wee. All right, so. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna redraw that circle there. So 
So yeah, I just got a couple of dishes here uh, <laughs> making their way over to the other side and I'm gonna draw their destination here in a second. Just a big, it's a garbage can with a big old steaming pile of garbage. Uh, just for the record, my garbage can, I, I don't let it get like this. I'm just doing it for uh, comedic effect. So this uh this one plate here just kind of went in head first his head is his head i should say more like top half is sticking into the garbage let me see what all we have here so we got like a soup can or a soda can uh, on top of that we got like a banana peel that that makes sense because i always uh have bananas in the morning So that's definitely something that would be in there. And I hmm, I don't really drink soda, but I definitely use soup in cooking. So soup can definitely fits. Then I'm just going to put some random specks in here. So I got this uh, plate right here that's about to uh, jump in. So he's uh, counting himself off. One, two... We got this plate here that's uh, climbing back up onto the counter into the dirty pile with a bunch of <laughs> garbage stuck on him. So it really is just a never ending cycle. The plates are just going to keep jumping out of the clean pile, getting into the garbage, and then jumping back into the dirty pile. So I'm going to just be there all night. Which is a bad thing because unless this is a Friday or a Saturday, I got to work in the morning. I don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let me go ahead and change that really quick. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just Hey Dark Gamer, awesome to see you here. Thank you for the follow. Uh, right now I'm uh drawing a endless cycle. Uh this uh endless cycle of uh dishwashing. I'm uh cleaning dishes that are dirty and putting them in this clean pile and then they jump off the clean pile onto the floor they walk over to this garbage can and stick themselves in the garbage and then they climb up covered in garbage back into the dirty pile and the cycle repeats what are you gonna do uh yeah they're uh they're 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 all plates that's just a stylistic choice and I said I was saying earlier that I usually would put the dish put the plates in the dishwasher instead of hand washing them. I just when I had it when I had it pictured in my head, I was seeing myself drawing just pl washing plates. So I'm just doing it that way. But yeah, normally plates I would put in the dishwasher. 
saves me some time. Uh, so, uh, Dark Gamer, if you uh, have a funny uh, thing you want me to draw, uh, just drop a request in the chat. I just had a couple of uh, my own requests lined up for, and you know, to pass the time until other people started showing up and making requests. But if uh, you make a request, uh, yeah, it can be a funny thing or a silly thing, a crazy thing, or just just something. The uh, that that's how that's what my uh, stream is named for. It's just you gotta tell me to draw something. <laughs> Normally I have a theme which kind of narrows it down a little bit, but tonight I'm going for a, you know, just kind of no theme, just anything goes. Seeing how it turns out. Liking it so far. Alright, I think, I think I'm feeling good about this. I don't think anything else needs to be added. I'll just add my face. <laughs> It'd be funny if I just left my head completely faceless. All right, Dark Gamer, I'm uh, looking at your request. Uh, let me see here. Wacky, waving, inflatable arm. Uh, yeah, like what they, what they have outside the car dealerships. In medieval armor. I, I can do that. Oh, pardon my hairy arm on the paper. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm just about done with this, so I'll get to your request next. Hmm. All right, there we go. All right, let me go ahead and uh, initial it, date it. Not necessarily in that order. And I will go ahead and bring up the larger view. There we go. <laughs> it never ends. I'll be here washing dishes forever. I'll go ahead and add a couple of knobs on here too. I mean, I don't necessarily have to do that. They can just be, that water faucet can just be, you know, they can just turn the water on and off whenever it feels like. It doesn't need knobs to control it. But no, I gave it knobs. Okay, so... For Dark Gamer One, thank you again for being here and following. I'm gonna go ahead and draw <laughs> those wacky waving tube people that you see usually see outside car dealerships. They might you might also see them somewhere else. That's that seems like to be like the general place where you find those in medieval armor. Let me get started on that. got the basic outline Drawing the uh, the main brass plate on the front of the armor. 
Already got the, uh... Arms figured out. The armored arms. Try saying that five times fast. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, also give him <laughs> a sword. And maybe it should be an inflatable sword. It is an inflatable being we're talking about here. So I'll give him a balloon sword. Alright. Hey, DJ Mike Brady. Awesome to see you here. And thank you. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and retract this arm a little bit to get it so that the hand the hand goes around the sword hilt. Uh it's not really a hand, but you get the idea. The the end of the the end of the arm, I guess. Alright, so there we go. Let me go ahead and uh, draw the uh, spinning fan here that's uh, <laughs> keeping it inflated. Then I'll go ahead and draw the second one. It's got to be a duel. Alright, let me see here. Giving him like a feather in his helmet. Kind of mix it up. This one I just gave kind of a single point sticking out. Uh, Dark Gamer, thank you so much. I'm glad you're liking it. So this kind of reminds me of a uh, comic I made years ago where it was uh, a couple of characters of mine uh, named Rodney and Jim. Did a, It was a comic strip I did on my uh, family's blog for a few years. And uh, there was a postcard that uh, the main character Rodney sends during the summer where they go to a renaissance fair. And uh, it turns out that the... Uh, <laughs> the sword fighting duel they have that sounds really cool and awesome is just this really lame thing where they have uh, these swords that don't have any sharp blades. They're just these leather, like, they're just, they're like covered in leather. So they just make this dull thud when you clank them against each other. So there's no real high stakes or anything. That That's just what I'm reminded of while I'm drawing this with their inflatable harmless swords. Which is good, because if they had real swords, I think this would end really badly, really quickly. Alright, let me go ahead and finish the armor. I think that'll do it. Let me see. Oh, gotta have the underscore in your name there for Dark Gamer One on Twitch. 
uh, Dark Gamer, I hope you like this. Uh, if you want me to add anything else to it, feel free to add a suggestion. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the larger view. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna, I am going to add some motion lines to... Oh, I actually also forgot to add the inflating mecha mechanism. Uh, Dark Gamer, good. I'm glad you like it. Alright. Yep, just add all the motion lines. All the motion lines. All right, cool. All right, thank you, Dark Gamer, for the request. And, oh, happy uh, almost birthday, Dark Gamer. Mm. That'll be awesome. Mm. My birthday is not for another couple months. It's uh, 15 days before Christmas. It's a little awkward. But it is what it is. Uh, DJ Mike Brady, uh, do you have a uh, funny request you want to throw up? If not, I already have another request for myself uh, waiting on the list. So I'll go ahead and get started on that for now. Um, so, uh, as far as foods that I like eating, uh, peanut butter is definitely a favorite of mine. I <laughs> always gotta have a jar, so I gotta have a jar in my cupboard. I don't know if I could live without a peanut butter jar in my cupboard. It's just, it, the stuff is so good. And uh, there's, you know, a debate. You can make a debate about, you know, what the best partner for peanut butter is. Whether it's jelly or honey. Um, I think probably what, would, what most people would say is the best partner for, for I just gave it away almost, uh, for peanut butter is chocolate. So what I'm going to do here is draw peanut butter and chocolate getting married. This is, this is just the kind of weird stuff I draw on my show. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm going to draw the outlines here. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, by all means, Dark Vamer. Dark. I am so sorry. Dark Gamer, uh, thank you. Have a great night. Thanks for making the request. Go get some sleep. drawn the basic uh, outlines of the <laughs> chocolate and peanut butter <laughs> gonna put a wedding arch behind them and uh, what better thing to uh, decorate said wedding arch with then uh, peanut butter cups. So I'll go ahead and start tracing those out on here. and start tracing over the happy couple.
Trying to think of a funny brand I can give the peanut butter jar. I'll ponder that while I'm tracing over the rest of this. Al Lowry, awesome to see you here. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, if you uh, have a funny request you want me to draw, uh, go ahead and drop it in the chat, or you can just hang out. Either way is fine with me. Great to see you here. So I just figured out something that kind of fits with both the peanut butter and the uh, romantic theme. Gonna have it be called Nuts for You. I realize that that could be taken a number of different ways, but this is just, you know, when you're nuts for someone, you're just crazy in love with them. We're just gonna stick with that definition. No need to look any further into it. All right, so. Uh, so for those who uh, just tuned in, this is a uh, wedding between uh, peanut butter and chocolate. It's them at the altar. I just realized I forgot to uh, draw the uh, little chocolate grid squares on the chocolate bar. So let me go ahead and add those in now. It's usually something I like to do before I trace over the arms. But I can make it work. Dun -dun -dun. Bum -bum. All right. Oh, yeah, and also let me uh, go ahead and give the uh, peanut butter a bow tie. It's got to be nice and formal. It's on the screen. I do have a <laughs> consistent habit of accidentally pushing the paper up so far that it you can't really see what I'm drawing on camera. Don't want that. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, trace over the peanut butter cups that are <laughs> lining the wedding arch. I feel like I kind of missed an opportunity here. Uh, I could have showed them kissing rather than just holding hands. And I could have a bunch of kisses coming out of the... Uh... 
out of the uh, them kissing, just have a bunch of kisses flying out. Oh, well, you know, I'll figure out an alternate way to draw it. So let me see here. Oh, yeah, I gotta do the family members that are here at this grand ceremony. So, of course, on the uh, peanut butter side, we have peanuts. And now that I think about it, I could probably just throw in Charlie Brown there just to be funny. I, I you know what? Yeah, I got I gotta do that. Now that I've thought about it, I, I gotta do that. Yeah, there we go. We got little peanut. Bigger peanut. There we go. And yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and draw, uh, the round headed kid here. Give him his classic zigzag shirt. There we go. So we got we got the peanuts. So I got the peanuts on this side of the family. Or this, yeah, this the peanut butters side of the family has uh, got all his peanuts here. Oh, you know what? Just because uh, you know I I'm only getting one half of that. Uh, you know, there's it's peanut butter. I'm just showing all these peanuts, but no butter. That's not right. Got to have some butter up in here. We got butter shedding a tear. Go ahead and put one more stick of butter here in the crowd. Alright, so that, I think that covers the uh, peanut butter side of the family, peanut butter's family. Let me go ahead and do the uh, chocolates family now. Alright, I've had this joke in my head for a couple minutes now, I gotta just get it out.
So here's the uh, kiss. <laughs> One of the kisses telling them to kiss already. They're just staring at each other. You know, got, you know, gotta end the ceremony. Gotta kiss the bride. Uh, speaking of which, let me go ahead and add like a little wedding veil to the bride here. And I gotta start our music back up again. There we go. All right, so I got the kiss there. Let me see what else I can add on. Okay, somehow I'm having a creative block when it comes to drawing different types of chocolate. That that seems unreal. It seems like that should be the easiest thing for me to come up with. I'll go ahead and do, I, oh yeah, I'll go ahead and do like a Whopper, a malted milk ball. So I drew a couple of chocolate hearts here, and one of them has a bite taken out of it. Oh, all right, I got it. I got another one. Uh, so a couple, several weeks ago on my stream, uh, I was having a running theme of uh, incorporating Butterfinger bars into my drawings. So I'm gonna go ahead and feature that one of those in here. Let me go ahead and rotate the paper here. There we go. There we got the Butterfinger bar. Ah, that, uh, the way I positioned the U actually, uh, works like, it actually looks like his nose. So that was actually, uh, I didn't even plan that. That was, that worked out well. All right. So I think that's gonna do it. I don't know. I still, I don't know. Chocolate still needs like one or two more relatives there. I'll go ahead and do a peppermint patty <laughs> just to continue the peanuts theme. that'll probably do it so yeah, there we go the union of peanut butter and chocolate go ahead and date it and initial it and I'll bring up the larger view so yeah got peanut butter got chocolate <laughs> got peanut butter's family and relatives got a uh, chocolate's family and relatives which there should be a lot more of, but for some reason I just wasn't thinking of more kinds of chocolate to put over here. But yeah, peanut butter has peanuts and butter and Charlie Brown, you know, because peanuts. All right, um, that was the last request I had lined up for myself. Um, so now, um, anyone who's watching, if you have a request you want me to draw, uh, go ahead and throw it out in the chat. It could be anything, really anything, no matter how ridiculous it sounds. The only, the only condition is, like, the only conditions I have are, A, it's not super complicated. It'll take more than 20 minutes. Like, just nothing, like, super, super complex. And uh, the other condition is that it's family-friendly, just nothing, <laughs> nothing super risque. But other than that, uh, it's pretty much anything goes. Alright, so I had an idea. Okay, so I had an idea. 
then I was gonna go ahead and take some of the past drawings I did because I got a, I got several of my drawings from the past several for the past 26 weeks here on my wall behind me. I was gonna go ahead and uh, do. I was gonna take some couple of the characters that I've drawn and kind of combine them in a drawing together. So let me go ahead and uh, do this here. So I think as far back as like week three, so this was back in March or April, I drew a giraffe, a uh, rich giraffe with a monocle. Oh, L. Lowry. I will get your request going right now. A uh, lizard with a bird's head. All right, let me go ahead and do that. Lizard with a bird's head. I like that. Okay. Ooh, uh. Go ahead and start tracing this over here. So yeah, lizard with a bird's head. So, so yeah, I drew the uh, lizard. Go ahead and add some scales onto it, obviously. Gotta have some scales. And not really the biggest fan of how I drew those. Uh, let me go ahead and try that again. Want to have them a little bit organized, have kind of a pattern. So there we go. We got the lizard. <laughs> so now I'm uh, thinking of uh, having a bird flying by that. Uh... The lizard bird just says a casual hi to and the bird just flips out because he's like, what the heck is that? Uh, 
Uh, L. Lowry, I'm not complaining. Those are one of the simple joys of life. Um, actually, just last Saturday, I was uh, coloring a combination between a taco, a turtle, and a butterfly. Which I could actually bring up on screen now that I think about it. Hold on a second. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, open up my image my uh, coloring program oh looks like it's already open oh no it's not uh mom are you talking about the uh, taco butterfly turtle um uh, dj mike brady actually came up with a pretty good name it was uh, i think it was tacoterfly tacoterfly Kind of fits all three uh, words in there. All right, so I'm drawing uh, lightning bolts shooting out of him because I guess <laughs> he's uh, so shocked that he's well, he's shocked. He's legitimate. He's literally shocked. So I got little bolts of electricity coming out of him. And uh, it's not just the bird that's terrified. Uh, <laughs> let me go ahead and draw another lizard. Well, an yeah, an actual lizard, like a purebred lizard. None of this half-breed stuff. This is a purebred lizard. All right, let me... <laughs> While I'm uh, speaking in a fancy accent, I'm not... Not really liking how I'm drawing that so far. So let me try again. Alright, there we go. Alright, um... So, uh, L. Lowry, uh, let me go ahead and bring up what I was uh, talking about a second ago. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, hold on. Uh, I'm going to transition over to a larger view here. So, there we go. There's uh, there's my, uh, it's called a Mashable, uh, one of my... One of the streamers I follow here on Twitch is Meg's Mashables, and I did this as part of her Friday Mashable Challenge. And it's a taco, butterfly, and turtle mashup. It's a taco, it's a taco turfly. I still gotta learn how to pronounce that better. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just leave that up on screen for a couple seconds, and let's get back to drawing. But yeah, I've a. Uh, Done, I've done a number of uh, those Mashable challenges. I've got a... Uh, I think the first one I did was a giraffe and uh, soft serve ice cream and a dragonfly. That was a fun one. Uh, the last one before this uh, most recent one that I did was the... Uh, it was a fox combined with a jellyfish combined with a Cheshire cat. That was a that was a really fun one too. It's yeah, those mashable mashups can be uh, both exciting and potentially terrifying. Uh, thank you, L. Lowry. Right now, I've uh, finished drawing the actual lizard bird. Right now, I'm just drawing the <laughs> reacting creatures around it. Uh, so far, uh, the consensus seems to be uh, not so positive. Uh, clearly, they're just not they're just not in touch with the current zeitgeist of uh, 
Hi animal hybrids. Pardon me for the brain fart there. So yeah, once again, like the uh, bird over there in the corner, and this, yeah, he's a, uh, this lizard is literally shocked. So you can see the electricity bolts j jolting out of him. All right, so yeah, we got a bird here and a lizard here, both terrified. So it's like he doesn't even really fit in with either crowd. So will it be uh, an eternity of misunderstanding and loneliness for our friend here? No, I think there might be a ray of hope. Because the uh, that uh, Mashable I just showed a minute ago just happens to be standing in the same area. second gonna make his eye a little bit bigger like he's like really taken by what he's seeing there we go So let me go ahead and just do kind of a simplified version of what I drew on. I'm not going to add all the extra details because I want to try and keep this drawing process fairly short while I'm on camera. But I'll just add the fiesta-like zigzags to the wings. Looking at the clock, it looks like I'm just coming up on the one hour mark. That went by pretty fast. So yeah, the Takurto fly uh, now gazes upon the lizard bird being screamed at by his, who you know, the two different species that he's both part of and not part of. And the Takurto fly looks at him and the reaction he's getting and he's like, finally, someone I can relate to. He's also been ostracized by tacos and butterflies and turtles none of whom he seems to fully resemble. And so now he's found someone he can actually connect with. Gotta love a happy ending. Uh, Mike Brady, uh, yes, a couple punk teenage street racers except they're slugs, I love it. Let me add that to my list. Let me go ahead and finish this up here. This was for L. Lowry on Twitch. I'll date it, initial it, and go ahead and bring up the large review. I just realized I had part of the paper off camera. I apologize for that. But yeah, there we go. Uh, two lost souls, two lost outcasts find each other.
All right. So next up for DJ Mike Brady. And yeah, I you know what? Since I already have the uh, coloring page up, I should go ahead and show what I drew last week that uh, Mike Brady is referring to in the chat. Yeah, last week I drew a uh, slug crossing guard. Not actually a slug, but he's a, a person waiting on slugs to cross the road. And I'll bring it up here in a second. All right, so yeah, we got the uh, got the slug crossing yard there. Let me go ahead and do the larger view. Uh, the slug crossing yard here is just uh, he's been waiting there for so long, waiting for these slugs to get to school that he's grown a full beard. He's got hair growing out of his ears. He's got hair growing everywhere. His uh, shoes are melted to the asphalt that he's been standing on. His uh, shirt is all dirty. He's got holes in his pants. And uh, now these two, uh, we're gonna, you know what? I think we're gonna cut to like a couple years after this. They're right now they're just innocent little grade schoolers. We're gonna cut a couple years later, and that's not what I wanted. Hold on a second. So yeah, what we're gonna do is uh, jump a couple years forward to when they go through their rebellious teenage phase. So I'm just tracing out the basic outlines. Uh, go ahead and give uh, this one a mohawk because one of them's got to have a mohawk. Maybe both of them can have mohawks. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted. So yeah, we're drawing these two slugs, uh, <laughs> street racing. I haven't actually drawn the street yet. I'll get to that in a minute. because one of them has a nose ring and also has a mohawk so there we go uh, let me go ahead and actually draw the street that they're racing down because right now they're just kind of racing on a blank sheet of paper or in a nothingness a void let me draw the actual street this uh, road line right through where I was going to put the speech balloon.
guys. There we go. And of course, gotta have their little slime trails behind them. I'll go ahead and draw the cops here. Alright, so while the uh, street racing slugs are just blasting away down the street, I got these two cops here like literally right behind them that are uh, debating uh, whether or not they should actually put them under arrest and uh, one cop saying, uh, are we going to arrest them or not? And the other cop saying, I say we give them five more minutes, this is funny. Oh, and, you know, there is no, re I mean, there's no real logical reason for, the, for them to have beards and hair growing out of their ears. But I think it would be funnier that way, so let me go ahead and give them beards and hair growing out of their ears. And, of course, 
hair growing off their arms. <laughs> All right, I think that'll do. Let me uh, go ahead and date it, initial it, and I'll go ahead and bring up the larger view. Yeah, the Cubs will never catch us. Booyah, top speed. They've gone like two feet. No, not like two inches, really. <laughs> they're, uh, they're really tearing up that road. I mean, that road's probably going to erode into nothingness by the time they get, like, a quarter of the way down it. Uh, DJ Mike Brady, are you still there in the chat? <clears throat> what do you think? All right, so um, if anyone else uh, has a request they want to throw out there, um, let me see how many drawings I got so far tonight. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I got five so far. I could probably do one or two more and then call it a night. Oh, yeah, I was going to... Oh, Mike Brady, good. I'm glad you do. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I was gonna, I was starting to work on a drawing for myself. I was gonna combine two of my past drawings into one. Kind of do like a crossover type deal. I'm gonna be looking behind myself a lot because I'm trying to remember exactly how I drew this the first time. So yeah, when I, I think way back in week three, I drew a snobby draft with a monocle and a top hat that's super proper and shows no emotion. I'm going to change that up a little bit. This is going to be like maybe sort of a little ways back in his history before he became completely emotionless. Uh, again, you know what? I was going to actually bring up the original drawing so I could have a better context for what I'm doing here. So let me go ahead and look that one up. go ahead and do this here uh so yeah what i did here was uh i drew the draft with a top hat and a monocle he's just coming he's towering above the other animals and he's completely just lacking all emotion he's become so caught up in himself and his ego that he's just basically separate like he's just living on a different plane of existence but he's just lost all feeling in himself so, yeah, that's just established context. And Sean C. 72, awesome to see you. Thank you for coming. Uh, let me, all right, let me go ahead and get back to the, uh, draft here. So, yeah, this is a little bit before that drawing, so he still is showing some emotion, just not all of it. But what I'm thinking here is I got him... Just kind of just standing there aloof, just like, I don't want any of your business. Oh, I am a giraffe. I am tall. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 
Tan, 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 tan. All right, so there we go. We got the uh, snobby draft of the monocle. We actually add the little chain on the monocle. Uh, and then in that same, I think that exact same stream, I did a Viking duck playing soccer. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the Viking duck back too. Let me go ahead and bring that one up on screen now. And uh, hold on just a second. Okay, hold on here. All right, so yeah, there we go. There's the uh, Viking duck. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, am I pointing in the right direction? Here we go. There's the Viking duck playing soccer. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add him into the drawing with the uh, snobby giraffe. Kind of just an odd couple pairing. Alright, so let me go ahead and add the uh, Viking helmet with horns. So we got him uh, bawling his hands up in a fist, and he's going to be yelling some triumphant Viking song. Move that up on the camera. So yeah, he's singing a classic Viking hymn. And I'm going to have the uh, snobby draft here making a snarky comment in his head.
All right, so there we go. We got the uh, Viking Duck singing a hymn and the draft criticizing him for clearly singing in the wrong key. But of course, he's not going to try and do any better because he only wants to criticize and bring others down, not actually do anything to make himself look better because that's just the kind of person he or kind of animal he is. So let me go ahead and bring up a larger view here. Alright, so that's one crossover drawing. I think I can probably uh, have another one. Let's see here. Uh, Mike Brady, thank you. And I just got a... Alright, so I have one of the two... Uh... So way back in the very beginning, week one... I drew a shark in a business suit who was a spokesperson for the business Chum Inc. Chum Incorporated. So let me bring that up on the screen here. There we go. So we got Chum Inc.'s spokesman, a shark, of course, in a business suit, in a briefcase. And let's see what funny uh, character I can partner him up with. Oh, all right. You know what? Well, let me first off, let me uh, go ahead and start drawing the shark here. I think it was like uh, week two that I drew this uh, other character I'm going to be... Actually, I shouldn't say character, because he was, in fact, a real person. Just gonna finish, uh... Drawing him here. Alright, so I'm drawing, right now I'm uh, drawing out the master himself, Bob Ross. He was uh, going to have a little encounter with the business shark. Actually, I say encounter. Um, he's actually going to be creating said business shark. Or at least... Well, painting him. I guess technically I created him first, but Bob Ross is just doing his own take on it. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Actually, I, actually, I'm flattered. I'd be I'd be flattered if Bob Ross painted something I created originally. that my mind would be blown. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and draw the shark here. Give him his briefcase. I think I remember joking back when I uh, first drew the business shark uh, about how his his briefcase is locked, but 
it seems kind of pointless to do that because no one in their right mind would steal a briefcase from a shark. That just, that would just be foolish. Go ahead and give him a belt buckle. I right, finished drawing Bob here. Make sure it's still on camera. All right. So it's kind of got this life-size easel he's painting it on. So I got Bob just saying in his usual gentle manner, look at that, a nice little shark in a business suit. And then we got the uh, comeback from the business shark. You look like you look like a happy little appetizer. All right, let me go ahead and uh, date this and initial it. Yeah, uh, bring up the larger view. Ah, uh, yep. Once again, look at that—a nice little shark in a business suit. You look like a happy little advertiser. Uh, Sean C., I love the Bob Ross emote. That's awesome. I'll go ahead and uh, add some pinstripes to his suit, too. I was leaving out the extra details at first, but now I'm going to add, add them in. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I think that brings my total tonight up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I could do one more combo or one more crossover, or I could just do the recap and uh, send you off on a raid. I think I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Now, seven's a pretty good number. So let me go ahead and start off the uh, end of night recap. All right, so the first one I did tonight is a, uh, <laughs> this was inspired by me, by me doing the dishes before I uh, went live. So it's just this uh, never ending cycle where the clean dishes jump out of the clean dish pile and they walk over and 
plant themselves in the gar pi big pile of garbage in the overloaded garbage can. And then they uh, climb into the climb onto the the counter onto the dirty plate pile covered in garbage. And so I have to wash them. They go to the clean dishes pile, and then the cycle starts again. Uh, this one's going jumping off and going wee. This one's about to jump in, dive into the garbage pile, and he's saying one, two. We don't actually see him get to three, but it's implied. Sean C, yes there is. Uh, definitely my least favorite part of cooking is doing the dishes afterwards. Be nice if that wasn't required, but unfortunately, I mean, I mean I shouldn't be I shouldn't complain too much. I have a dishwasher. I don't have to hand wash all of my dishes, which is definitely good. All right, uh, for Dark Gamer One, I drew a couple of those wild, crazy noodle inflatable noodle arm things that you usually see in front of a car dealership in medieval outfits. They got inflatable swords and got helmets and, you know, all the works. I also drew the little inflatable machine machines here at the bottom of both of them. All right. What's next? Ah, yes. The marriage between peanut butter and chocolate. Where both sides of the family, sh or both families showed up. Uh, the peanut butter's family showed up. We got peanuts, we got butter, we got Charlie Brown. And on the uh, chocolate side of the family, we have a peanut, uh, I'm sorry, a peppermint patty, a Butterfinger bar, a kiss, and a malted milk ball. A Whopper, you could say. And uh, the wedding arch has uh, peanut butter cups. And uh, there's also a couple of chocolate hearts here, and one of them has a bite taken out of it, of course. Uh, thank you, DJ Mike Brady. Really appreciate it. Always appreciate having you here. All right, and for L Lowry on Twitch, here on Twitch, I think these were all I think these were all Twitch requests tonight. I am streaming on Facebook too, but I haven't seen any. I don't think any requests came in from there. It's fine. Uh, this is a lizard, a lizard with a bird's head, and uh, both the bird and the lizard are terrified of him. But the uh, taco butterfly, the taco butterfly turtle hybrid, feels like he's finally found someone he can relate to. So it has a happy ending. All right, next up uh, for DJ Mike Brady, here's a. Uh, <laughs> Two street racing slugs that are tearing up the road. And the cops are just kind of like three feet behind them. You know, like, should we uh, should we arrest them? Nah, let's wait five more minutes. This is funny to watch. <laughs> I mean, who am I to judge? All right. And then, uh, then I did a couple of crossovers between my past drawings. Here's uh, the Viking duck singing a Viking hymn while the giraffe with a monocle and top hat just criticizes his singing internally. Mentally, I, you know. Yeah, whatever the word for that is. Sometimes I have trouble coming up with the right word for something. Uh, then I drew uh, Bob Ross painting the shark in a business suit. And they each have their own little quip. And I think that's it for tonight. Let me just double check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope, I think that's it. All right, so let me go ahead and see who I can raid. Uh, looks like uh, I'll be raiding uh, DJ John Robinson with his uh, Sanctuary. Uh, sanctuary Rapid Fire Wednesday. That sounds like a blast. Let's go ahead and head over there. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who uh, showed up. And uh, watched tonight and made a request. I really do appreciate everyone who shows up and makes requests. And just hangs out in the chat. Just I enjoy seeing your com your comments and conversation. Uh, so thank you as always. I'm going to send you off to Sanctuary. Uh, if you're not familiar with Sanctuary or John Robinson, uh, it's a pretty awesome music show. I, he plays great stuff. Thank you, Will Lowry. Thank you, Rose Rebel and uh, Sean C. Again, really appreciate having you all here.
All right, I'm gonna send you off to Sanctuary. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. Have a good rest of your week. Let me just uh, bring up the end card and...